lost. Don't move. Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay, um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You... You will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? Since when did Mix become Italian? Uh, no idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Oh, sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? Well, maybe we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh... Like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites.